President Xi will meet each and every one of them. This is the UN Secretary General Ban Ki Moon and other, and other international organization leaders will be followed by heads of state then. This is our chairman of the G20's Financial Stability Board, Mark Joseph Carney. And um, head of the International Labor Organization, Mr. Guy Ryder, Director General. IMF Chief Christine Lagarde. Well, this is Lagarde's third visit to China this year. Lagarde attended the G20 finance ministers and the bank governors meeting earlier this year in Chengdu. And Lagarde praised China's idea of adding inclusiveness to its agenda. And we have World Bank President Jim Yun Kim. This is Kim's fifth visit to China since he took office. And Kim expanded cooperation with Beijing in areas like health sector and global economic system. And this is Secretary General of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, Jose Guria Trevino. But the OECD is an intergovernmental economic organization in, based in French capital Paris and it has been an active partner of the G20 to strengthen global economy. OECD works with G20, carrying out tasks mandated by its members. And then President Xi will meet with uh, leaders attending this year's summit one by one. This is Saudi Arabia's uh, crown prince, Salman. Singapore Prime Minister Li Xianlong. And this is um, WTO Secretary General Roberto Advito. And we have a Spanish Prime Minister, Mr. Mariano Rajoy. Spain is not a member of the G20, but it has always been invited to attend the G20 summit. And the same this time at Hangzhou. President Xi meeting Prime Minister Prayu chan of Thailand. Thailand is attending G20 as chair of the group of 77. Well, it was established in 1964 as the largest intergovernmental organization of developing countries in the UN system. And it serves as a platform for developing countries to build better economic cooperation and development. Uh, Mr. Juncker, uh, representing the European Union Commission. Uh, Jean-Claude Juncker as the Commission President, and the Commission is the executive body of the EU. And European Council President Donna Tusk. Uh, European Union is a member of G20 as one economic entity, but it represents all the EU members. It a strategic body provides Union with directions and priorities. Malcolm Turnbull of Australia, Prime Minister. The Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. This is Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, met by President Xi inside the Convention Center. A G20 summit is expected to take place very soon. Italy 
Italian Prime Minister Matteo Renzi. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe attending the G20 summit as an Asian country member of the G20. British Prime Minister Theresa May all in red being met by President Xi. French President François Hollande shaking hands with President Xi. And now we have Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto. Egyptian President Abdel Sisi Chad President Debbie Hazakistan <coughs> Zongtong Najarbayev President Nasad Nazarbayev of Kazakhstan. Argentine President Mauricio Macri. And we have Lao President Mr. Bunan Barachi. President Michel Temer of Brazil. <coughs> Indonesian President Joko Widodo. Turkish President Erdogan. Senegal President Macky Sall. President of ROK, Park Geun Hye.
South African President Jacob Zuma. U.S. President Barack Obama. Russian President Vladimir Putin. German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Having some chit chat there uh, with uh, Angela Merkel, President Xi. This is inside the International Convention Center in Hangzhou. And then the leaders uh, of G20 economies and international organizations they will line up to have a group photo uh, and then they will. Uh, take the steps to the fourth floor where uh, the G20 summit would take place. The venue of this place, the International Expo Center, is the main venue of the G20 summit by the side of the Tiantang River. We understand the Expo Center has a perimeter about two kilometer that shows how large it is. Three floors about the ground, two underground floors. And the Expo Center has 28 meeting halls and 12 exhibition halls. And the summit would take place in the largest hall inside the Expo Center. The G20 summit welcoming, opening, and closing ceremony, all of them would take place uh, inside the Expo Center. And the Media Center is also there, bringing about 5,000 journalists from China and abroad to cover this year's G20 summit. So the world is looking forward to what these leaders will talk about, whether they can agree on some action plan and blueprints, how to turn world economy from sluggish growth to recovery, whether they can build on their consensus to have better integrated international governance in terms of financial institutions and trade and investment uh, agreements. The group of 20 or other known as G20 is such an important forum for the world's largest economies, 20 of them.